If you're looking for a six or a seven seater these days, the Alcazar had always made good sense. But it's been a couple of years and the Alcazar was looking a bit old. To answer that, Hyundai has brought this. This is the facelift version of the Alcazar and this offers a lot more features than the outgoing version. So what are the changes? What all does it offer and is it value for money? We are out there to tell you, but before we do that, do remember to subscribe to Auto Today and press that little bell icon so that you get notified every time we come up with new content. Now, let's get into the Alcazar. Hyundai has decked up the Alcazar with a lot of new features on the front end as far as the design is concerned. You get the now signature DRLs which is edge pattern which look very nice. The headlamps are here, you get a new grille and skid plates up front. But there is no denying that the Alcazar is based on the Creta and it should look similar. But let me show you the Creta out here. We have the Creta here as well and you can see the similarities between the design of these two cars. It's only the grille where the Creta is slightly different. Apart from that, these two look very identical. Now when we look at the profile of the car, very little has changed. But whatever has changed is important. Now you get new 18 inch wheels, which they look really nice, they are diamond cut. You get a plethora of cameras because now this car has ADAS level 2. You'll see a radar up there and a camera out here, that's for the C60 and that's the ADAS level 2. Uh, you also get new roof rails which give this car a very different look. It's just the roof rails. But what we really like is the amount of tech this car now has. Now, Hyundai has graciously given me a digital key of this car. Now, if I show you on my phone, you can see that little blue thing on the phone and that's the key to the car. All I need to do is take this key, touch it here and you'll see the door open like that. Now, if I take this and put it on the wireless charging pad inside, this car will start up without the need for a physical key. What you can also do is transfer this digital key to a couple of family and friends. So every time they borrow your car, you don't have to give them the physical key. What a lovely thing to have and what a lovely tech. Much like the front end, the rear end of the Alcazar has also been spruced up. So you get this connected light system, LED tail lights all around. You get the silver finish on top and of course the Alcazar lettering, which looks nice. You also get this silver skid plate. And if you notice, there's twin tip exhaust out there. What has always been the Alcazar's uh, selling point are the rear seats and the boot space. Now, in this car, not much has changed. You can see a large boot out here. They give you split seats, so you can utilize it like that. You can see our camera bag parked out here. And you also get a rear AC vents and a blower controller for the third row passenger. So the third row passenger is not treated in a different way. They also get the luxuries. Boot space, uh, it can go up to 579 liters, a liter here and there. Uh, forgive me if I'm wrong. But overall, this is a very, very practical and usable boot. So if you have five passengers, you can utilize one seat and reuse the rest for your luggage. Overall then, the Alcazar makes a lot of sense as a family car. And uh, this should be good on long drives or holidays. The front end of the Alcazar has always been comfortable. But this new one is even better. The dashboard has been revised and new color themes are on tap. You also get horizontal AC vents which look nice. You now get twin 10.25 inch screens, one for the infotainment system which is connected to the Bose audio system which has awesome sound. You also get Android and Apple connectivity. Apart from that, the system also beams the feed from the 360 degree camera. The instrument panel, again, all digital, changes colors and themes as per the mode you are driving on. You also get wireless charging. The front seat has become more comfortable because it gets ventilation and most importantly, it's all electrically adjustable. So overall, the front end of the Alcazar is sure to keep the driver and the front passenger in very good comfort. This new Alcazar is out there to impress the rear seat passengers as well. You get a nice captain seat at the back if you buy the six-seater variant. And what happens is you get a nice armrest, you get thigh support, and you also get two buttons with which you can push the front seat forward. Then you also get blinds 
for privacy and also the rear captain seats are now ventilated. It's a fantastic feature. You also get a snack table which you can pull up and a drinks holder on the side. Most importantly, you can put your mobile device on top of it and watch a movie while you're traveling from one city to another. You also get AC vents at the back and two Type-C charging ports. But Hyundai has gone one step ahead and given you wireless charging at the back as well. So overall, the rear seat passenger is going to be one happy person. The Alcazar was always a good car to drive and nothing much has changed. It is powered by the same 1.5 litre turbo petrol motor churning out 160 horsepower and 253 newton meters of torque. It starts with a very generic tone and is relatively smooth. In normal mode, the takeoff is a bit controlled and the 7-speed DCT tries hard to shift up as fast as possible to aid fuel economy. It is the same case when we deploy the Eco mode. However, there is a lag felt till the 2000 RPM mark after which the boost comes in strong. In sport mode though, things sure get exciting. The revs hold up to each gear and the acceleration is brisk past the 1800 and 2000 RPM mark. The rider handling package is also a worthy adversary to the engine performance. The steering feels light and hauling this big SUV is easy. Parking it too is not going to be a workout. The Alcazar is also tuned a bit stiff resulting in controlled body roll around corners. But things get a bit jittery when it comes to slow speed rides. To sum it up then, the Alcazar comes as a complete value for money package offering smart looks, features and good performance.